Marquis, congratulations today. Appreciate uh, it. Put, put into perspective just how big this win is and what kind of message you guys sent today. It's a, definitely a big win. It's a quiet one when um, our coaching staff has been harping on, you know, us getting this win because we know this is a very great team. It's a tough, competitive team that, you know, got a lot of uh, good wins um, early in the season. And, you know, we just try to come out and give it our best. Um, we, we try to come out with grit. We try to play with as, as much passion as we could. And thankfully that we got the win. Yeah. What are your emotions right now after this victory? I feel like I could play another five minutes if I needed to. I'm just still, my, my adrenaline is still pumping. My adrenaline is still, you know, going. But I'm happy that we, we are on the right side of, you know, the, the, the perspective of winning. So thanks so much. Uh, next question to, to Mitch. Hey, Marquise, on that final possession of regulation, I guess uh, you know, with 22 seconds to go, you got you know, the basketball the whole time. Do you know what the plan was? Were you waiting for a timeout or what was the deal? Um, no, I just wanted I, – I knew I had a, a, a mismatch on me. Um, but I was trying to run out the clock, you know, get a probably a, a, a good look at it. But, you know, I was, I was telling coach, I was waving coach off, like we don't need to run anything. Um, maybe I should have, you know – Took a couple of dribbles, got closer to the line, but um, you know, it's a shot I work on. Um, it's past us, you know. It, he blocked it. Thank God we went in overtime and got the win. So, yeah, you guys got it done. The extra five, and thanks to that big three you hit, that looked like you're begging for the basketball, and Mark got it to you. But how badly did you want that shot? I knew, I, I knew um, their defensive strategy. They forced things to the baseline, so you know the corners will be open if you take a, a, a dribble um, to the baseline. And, you know, Mark just whipped it to me. He hit the net and everything. Um, I didn't even think it was going to get to me. But, you know, when it got to me, I just shot it with confidence. Uh, I made sure that I did my whole routine when I'm shooting. And luckily, it went in. All right. Thank you. Sure. Uh, next question to Kellis. Hey, Marquisa, after that last possession of regulation went awry on you, did you put any extra pressure on yourself to, you know, find redemption there in overtime? Uh, I just wanted to win. I wanted to do whatever it took to win. That was my main focus today, um, just playing hard for 40 minutes and trying to do whatever it takes to, to win. Um, they came out hot. They came out, you know, very aggressive. And we knew that they were going to bring the juice. So, you know, that 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 was a wake-up call in the first five minutes where they, they was up big. Um, but my guys is, you know, resilient. They never stop fighting. We never stop, you know, punching, um, no matter what the score is. And, you know, you, you know about the Big 12. The Big 12 is fighting for 40 minutes, not 39 minutes and 50 seconds. So luckily we did that. To be down 13 right away, 15 later on, what, what kind of things did you say to each other to keep calm in that situation? We got to play with more pressure. We got to play with more passion. We got to, you know, bring the juice. They come out, they came out hot. Um, they hit us first. Um, that's been, a, you know, the story of, you know, K-State that we, we've let teams get up big and then we fight back. But, you know, thank God we, we finished for 40 minutes and we continue to keep sticking to the game plan, continue to keep fighting. And, you know, it worked in our favor. But, you know, when we down that big, we never think that the game is over. We never, you know, get too high, get too low. We just stay focused on the path. Thanks, man. Congrats on the win. Appreciate it, guys. Next question to Michael. These were three points yesterday. How have you to maintain your confidence? Three for six. Got to stay in the gym. You know, before this game, I was in the gym. Um, I put a little extra more shots up. So I guess that's the that's the key to it. Um, staying sharp and you know just sticking to my routine in this you know tough Big Twelve environment. So. Glory to God, glory to, you know, my work ethic, but the job is not done. We got a tough West Virginia team um, coming up, and they are uh, what we are focusing on now. And what kind of momentum can this give you guys going into the West Virginia game? This is big time. Uh, this is big time momentum. Uh, I like the way that, you know, my guys are are feeling right now. Um, winning, winning solves everything. So if you win, um, the problem is not as big as they might be when, when it's um, a loss. But, you know, we know West V, uh, we was up big versus them, and we let it slip. So 
we got to really focus on personnel. We got to really focus on, you know, the attention to detail coming up on Monday. And does Nigel just kind of continue to amaze you guys at what he's able to accomplish? Nigel is great, man. Seven for 10. He's an efficient shooter. Um, plays hard. You know, you got to gotta get that kid credit, man. He's come in, do his job every day. He's very consistent. You know, I love being in backcourt with him because it's, you know, you, you know what you're going to get out of him. And that's a, that's a very great teammate to have. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Any other questions for Marquise? Okay, Marquise, thank you. Appreciate it.